life. Okay, so let me go in my room so that I kind of have some peace. Okay, so um, it's Tuesday. It's just after 2 p.m. And um, we finished homeschooling about an hour ago. And um, maybe like 45 minutes ago. And just want to have like a little tiny little conversation with y'all about routines in our situation and in our family and how much it really works for us. And if we are off routine, I can really tell, I can really tell that it's going to be a rough situation. Hold on. I don't know if I like my hair this way. But for now, I think. Um, so this morning, my husband went in to work for 10 a.m., um, he left her at 10 a.m., I should say. He gets her at 11 a.m. Um, because he has the option to go in late um, one day a week because he works on Saturdays. So to not charge overtime, that's what they do. Not to pay out overtime, I should say. That's what they do. That's how they roll. And um, I, every time he works late, or I mean, every time he, he leaves late, um, it, you know, interferes with our school routine. And... It actually affects me and Riley um, in a huge way um, to the point where my husband's like, oh, I need to tell you every week when I'm going in late so that you know to plan to actually start school later because we did not start start school till 1015 today. And um, we finished at 130, but we really didn't finish finish. Um, I still had to read aloud and I didn't get to do that. I'm going to try to do that in the next hour, just read her a book, um, because what I'm finding is that I don't read the books at night before bedtime for various reasons. Um, either we're out really late, like at church or something, or doing doing an activity, or like say for instance tonight we have dance class, and by the time I get home it's going to be about 7.30, and honestly by then I just want her to grab a bite to eat, to shower, and... Um, say her prayers and go right to bed. I don't want to sit down and read a book with her. So I have to read her a book or two during the day just to make sure I kind of, she's getting some reading aloud action going on. So that did not happen yet. So I'm going to try to make that happen <clears throat> tonight, today. Ugh, sorry. But yeah, so I'm finding that um, when things get off a of routine, it really throws me off um, and it throws Riley off as well. Like she's distracted and she's jumping on the couch and jumping down and and not wanting to sit in her seat. And she wants to like show her dad everything that she's doing. And she was trying to like color something so that she, she, he I think I hear her coming. I don't know. So right now, just to kind of get out all of the. Like, even now, it's after 2 o'clock, and I can tell her routine has been kind of out of, like, just shifted. Because right now, she's just, like, has a lot of energy. So, what I've done, she puts on the Sesame Street dance-a-thon thing. <laughs> and all the characters play, like, music. And they do, um, like, little moves and stuff. So, that's exactly what she's doing. So... She's doing the Elmo slide right now. No lie. The Elmo slide. And um, she's having fun. I think it's like the third time I've heard this same song go on. She's having so much fun. Like she's jumping up and up and down. And she's just getting out her energy. And then um, tonight after dance she'll get out even more energy. And be talking with her friends and her teacher and stuff like that. So guys. So that's what's up. That is what's going on. Um, how do you guys deal with getting off of routine or do you guys even care that you guys are on or off routine? Maybe um, only some people care about that. I know that I do and I know that it does affect us when we get thrown off. I'd like to start around the same time every day between 8.45 and 9 a.m. Um, when we end, it's up in the air. It, we end like around 12 to 1 p.m. every day. But I'd like to start around the same time. So how do you guys deal with um, growing off routine or staying on routine? Let me know below. Bye.